I made a couple of, I, I got to uh, pat myself on the back or whatever. Uh-huh. Um, I made a couple of St. Patty's Day dishes. Yes, you did. Corned beef and cabbage. We had some mm-hmm. last night. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Right. You had the stone ground mustard on yours. Mm-hmm. I had the horseradish on mine. It was pretty good. I made some brats, mm-hmm. which were great. Yeah. And I love, by the way, this is a new piece of information. You said. <laughs> right. So my family's traditional Irish meal that we make is Reuben's mm-hmm. on Sunday, mm-hmm. which is what we're going to be eating later today. Okay. <laughs> and um, we do honey mustard on ours, which I always thought was the way that you should do it. Especially because it tastes delicious. You're so honey mustard. I am. <laughs> if you ever need to get a sauce for Carly, it's always honey mustard. I love me a honey mustard. I just do. It's good. My the traditional for me is uh, corned beef and cabbage. Right. And and then you can do the potatoes and the carrots. Mm-hmm. I don't because I'm I'm protein and veggies right now. Right. right. I gotta be. Mm-hmm. It's been a long, cruel winter. And- right. Right. Well, and you and Listen I also to that barrel chest slap. <laughs> It's time to get rid of some of this. Right. And you and I also made some shepherd's pie earlier this week, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Some salmon. Mm-hmm. Anyway, St. Patty's was a lot of fun. We went to St. Patty's on Park. Here's the Celt. Look at that dapper gentleman in green. It was a great time. St. Patty's on Park. Yeah, it was actually really well done. I was we're, very impressed. We're going to leave you with a few minutes of Scotland the Brave. And also, how brilliant to put it on Park Street. With the Celt on it. Right in front of the Celt. Yeah, that's kind of like Bar Alley, too. Like, it's got all kinds of bars there. Yeah. You know, it, it was a great location for the event. That's true. And I was a little bummed that people didn't go and explore a little bit more, because I was working on A Street the entire day, helping out my friend, and we didn't get hardly anyone from that. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I was kind of bummed. I, I wonder if a majority of Idaho Falls people are like, nah, it's too crowded. I don't want to deal with the crowds. Which I'm usually kind of like that. We parked three blocks away just to be conservative. We probably could have parked a block away now that I think about it. Sure. But yeah, the the party on a Friday and Saturday night, especially in the summer, mm-hmm. is in between A Street and Broadway on Park, downtown Idaho Falls. Right, yeah. For sure. And it certainly was on St. Patty's Day Mm -hmm. uh, with the Idaho Falls Fire Department pipes and drums, bagpipers. And they put on such a great performance, by the way. And they like rolled up, uh, put some brats on the grill too, which smelled so good. Sold some t-shirts for merch. Right, right. I watched them like pull these cardboard boxes full of uh, like ketchup and mustard out. And I was like, what's up with that? And then I see the grill (laughs) and I smell that food. And I was like, okay, actually this is, I love food. I'm I'm a very food centric person. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And they did such a great job. And on top of that, they played amazingly. And that's... That is why IFFD, you guys are our IFAF this week. Chris, high five. 21 finger gun salute and chef's kiss to to you. you. Fantastic. We'll leave you with Scotland the Brave. Enjoy. Enjoy.